just going to raise my hand, lower my hand for the purposes of video editing, and then I'm going to say what happened last time, what happened this time. We pledge allegiance to the flag <laughs> of my book. So, welcome to A Shining Farce. This will be episodes 13 and 14, if everything goes according to plan. <laughs> John, uh, John's just enjoying the fact that episode 10 went out, and he was right. He was right. He was right. Uh, was right. Do you remember what happened last week when we streamed this fine video game? Uh, it broke, and we it had to do a bunch of stuff again. It wasn't the game that broke, it was just Streamlabs that broke. Yeah. We murdered a dragon. Yep. Do you remember that, John? When we I just do. on that on that enormous field. Yeah. Yeah. That feels like like maybe uh, American football should be played on rather than a battle. But yeah, um, yeah. it occurred, so yeah. So we we need to find uh, a man. A man. We need, I think, a we man. for a hero. Wait, I would need a man to hatch an egg, a wizard's egg. What? Why do we need to hatch a wizard? Well, here we go. Hatches it in seconds. You have an interesting egg there. Can I try and warm it with his butt? Great. Give it to me. Rumps hands over the Domingo egg. Come on. Come on. Do your, do your stuff. It, what is that thing, Gareth? What is that thing? It's an octopus inside of a bag. Yeah, it's a plastic a, bag. It's escaping a packet of crisps. No, it's it's the plastic bag from uh, American Beauty. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the white tentacle isn't part of the hat. It's actually a hand saluting. <laughs> the elder giraffe. No, General Giraffe. Oh, General Giraffe. So, uh, do you know General Giraffe, Gareth? No. So on the M6, there is a giraffe on a trailer. All right. On the side of the M6, isn't there? Okay, yes. I Before we knew what it was, because it's an advert for um, like a local zoo or something, yeah. isn't it? No, it's like fence panelling or something, because it's the one near Preston, fence isn't paneling. it? Okay. <laughs> they joined the so shiny farce. Yeah. The shiny farce, yes. The farce. Um, before before I knew what it was, uh, I called it General Giraffe because you know, alliteration is important. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in a very similar fashion, uh, a gentleman I used to play Magic the Gathering with, who uh, recently got married. Congratulations to Eddie on that. Uh, inside of his front window, on the ground floor, staring out, uh, his girlfriend has like a five foot tall toy giraffe, and it's okay. called it's called Gaddafi, Gaddafi the giraffe. I feel like other names are available. <laughs> um, that, that's and, the name. Know, she... Guys who uh, are responsible for the genocide. But hey, you know, <laughs> you make your choices, I guess. You take. Look, I I didn't choose the name. I, no. and I just know it's known as Gaddafi the Giraffe. Right, let's buy some that medical sense. herbs because I feel we need Poor them. Choices. Yeah, mistakes were made. Uh, only the finest gameplay occurs. Gosh. So what's been happening in the world of uh, John and Emily today? I went to work. Yeah. My soul died a little. It continues. No. Yeah. Uh, to die or what? I had a friend over. <laughs> yeah, you had a friend over, didn't you? You had a play date. Yeah. And what what you happened with your play date? Wasn't a date, apparently, Dad. It's it's a play date. That there's nothing implied with that. It's just it's just a. That that's not it, what Emily's saying. She's she she thinks that you're trying to marry her off to her friends. You're trying to ship her off out of the house. Is that what you thought? Yeah. It no. It has a different meaning. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. But you had fun, didn't you? What did you do? Did some Roblox and Minecraft. Oh yeah. It's better than my day. Is yep. it better than your day, Gareth? Um, yes, 
Yes, it was. Um, I'm I'm in charge at work for two weeks, and all the work systems died until two o'clock. So that was nice. Apparently, your story is boring to Emily. <laughs> boring to everyone. It was boring to me, and it happened to me. So, Emily, <laughs> what do you think of this character? So, John, were yeah, you... <laughs> he's also useless. Yeah. Have you seen what his name is, Emily? Yogurt! Yes. Yogurt. Oh yeah. God. And his uh, fighting classes, his... Some of them are like warriors and fighters, and Yogurt, he is a Yogurt. So, here's what I don't understand, right, Gareth? So, it's, it's widely, you know... It's widely accepted that Yogurt... His name is Yogurt, right? Yeah. And it's pronounced that way, and everyone is fine with it. But yeah. Yaha. <laughs> Yaha. Yaha starts the same way with the same letter, and everyone's like, no, mate, it's Jaha. What are you doing <laughs> saying it's Yaha? It's Jaha, man. Yeah. Coming at me with, yeah, European enunciation. I know. Like, what's the deal? Like, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Can we not have some, like, consistency, please? Uh, Hi, Papal. I hope you're well. Hey, Papal. If you want weapons, you've come to the right place. Apple, you've just missed us uh, hatching a, a uh, an egg. Yep, we're pl we're practically playing Pokemon over here. Yeah. Pokemon, gotta catch him all. It's you and me. Um, I. How are we doing? How how are we doing, Emily? Right, he's got a long sword. Do we know if the long sword is better? Uh, Sorry. Right. So. I'm doing great. Hang on. Do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you guys would go live at 12. Uh, yeah, it's all right. We understood what you meant. Yeah. No, we know, we're, we're, going, we're going early because everything's working, essentially. Yeah. So um, that's, that's how that works. Yeah. So Xylo can... Need, I've got to give the axe first, are you, haven't I? Are you going to take the advice of one of our lovely YouTube... Uh, Commenters. Watching? What, that and I can't multitask? Say, like, Gareth, why aren't you using the axes that are available at this stop? Um, you know what? That was... I admit... Because I think we said in the episodes we've not put out yet, that I was like, I'm pretty sure that I was moaning about the weapons and what I should really have bought was the axes. And that's yeah. on me. And that I, is on you. Yeah, yeah and I, I take full responsibility for that. Good. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying it won't happen again. Because <laughs> it probably will. Oh, yeah. uh um uh, because one of the things that john no I, apparently i can't equip him with the ox the ox the ox uh, i wonder if it's only after he promotes right how close are we to pr promotion can i, I actually can, see that got, actually could oh we can't we gotta go into to see no uh, we? oh we can do this goat goat can be uh, promoted, Gareth. Well, I like how you're going to say upgraded like it was upgraded, a mobile yeah, phone. We, we, <laughs> we're going to remove his arm and then just affix like a giant axe to it. Yeah. Like um, Optimus Prime and Megatron in the original Gen 1 when Optimus Prime's hand turns oh, into an so axe. Good. And then Megatron. Not just any axe, an energy axe. And Megatron's hand turns into a mace. Yeah. That, that classic it medieval. Yeah, it was but, a launch chain, wasn't it? But, Nobody cares. This is this is pointless. Isn't there a game called um, Smash the Mole? What? A oh, whack a mole. A whack a mole. Yeah, yeah. No, we're talking about moles, not moles. <clears throat> right. So a mole is a weapon. So we're gonna go change the my pen. Uh. Pen now. Right. Don't, no, don't take my pen. I've got. Are we gonna do it, Gareth? Are we're gonna, gonna do. Are you gonna promote him. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the following question. What advice do we think Nova is going to give us this week? Uh, I think he's going to say that um, it's important to prepare your equipment before you start <laughs> out on your adventure. I, I, Papples was what I thought you were going to say because your daughter is here. Eat your veggies. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, that's that's my second answer. Yeah. All right then. Well, Grumps, are you ready to face the anime?
advice. Be sure to use your archers, mages, and knights to attack from afar. No. I was going to have them stand around. I mean, if we were playing Dark Deity, some of you mages do better up front than they do afar. Yeah, that's true. So, talk. I want to... Right, the force is going to need uh, a jiggle. A wiggle and a jiggle, isn't it? Because who's in? Who's not in the force? I feel well, Domingo. Domingo I feel Domingo comes in. But who do we leave behind? Who is a disappointment that should just be left? Luke. Luke. We've already Luke dropped. Already out, Luke is out. You know who I think is a disappointment? Chris. Yeah. Oh, that was something I've been meaning to, to ask you about, actually. Have you ever been on ShiningForceMods.com? I have not been on ShiningForceMods.com. They list all the um, sprite work that uh, Alex uses. Yes. Because uh, uh, it's like a, it's a resource pool of everybody everybody's yeah. stuff, so it's free for people to use. Mm -hmm. And somebody's actually gone to the trouble of remaking the uh, the sprite of Chris. Is so it... that she looks less like a sort of like... Squash Centaur donkey. Half breed sort of thing and more like an elf. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Have they made Pele look more like a baguette? He <laughs> <laughs> should do. It, doesn't, he look, doesn't he look like just like a, a giant like baguette? It looks like a bean. It right. looks like a bean. <laughs> his face anyway. Yeah, mm. it's way too long, isn't it? Yeah, why is it so long? I don't know. Right. All the other characters don't have long Crazy, like, crazy faces. Crazy I mean, idea. Do we it, drop May's May? Point. May's been like a stalwart for you, though. Well, I, I kind of want to keep Arthur. Oh, Arthur could promote as well, but I want to yeah. get him a couple of levels. And Pele was quite strong, even though he's got a terrible weapon. If you want to drop May, that's that's your call. So, I mean, right. at the moment we have three I... centaurs, and centaurs don't scale that well. Correct. If, if my Shining Force 2 <laughs> knowledge uh, holds true here. <laughs> so you replaced you replaced May with yogurt. <laughs> no, I replaced May with Domingo. Oh, okay. And who did you replace yogurt with? Yogurt is not in. What I did was I picked Kikichi. Ah. Uh, and I was wondering, does Kikichi does Kikichi replace hands? Yes. Super hands is dead. Long live super hands. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Thank you, but no thank you. So let's just... Apple let's... is saying that Domingo is an OP unit, by yeah. the way. So here we are, we've got it all. Yep. We, we've got bikinis, we've got horses, we've got a bin bag with an octopus in it. We've got it yep. all going on. <laughs> Uh, we have. You need us. I always think Kikichi looks like a duck, like launch pad. I, I think he looks like a flying crocodile, personally, because of the green <laughs> in his in his suit. Suit. Yeah. Well, for me, it's like because of the way his head is, it just really makes me think of launch pad, but like flapping some ridiculously tiny wings. Good point. You know what they say about any landing you can walk away from. He's bad at flying it, too. Barbazak is a dangerous opponent. He controls the fortress in Urumbatal. What's that? Uh, Urumbatal Ur is a place. It's Urumbatal. it's kind of like a continent or province, I suppose. <laughs> Barbazak, you should do it now before Ernest gets killed. He's in there fighting all alone, yelling about vengeance. Go back him up. Oh, okay. Vengeance is the best kind of thing because this game is from the hey. 90s. So, Orc. Ernest heard you defeated Elliot, so he decided to attack a fortress all on his own. Good idea. No, it's not good. What? Not a good idea. Good idea. Bad idea. An elven and an So, Diane's well, getting an upgrade. Yeah. That was easy for you to say. Oh, you absolute <laughs> potato. I'm going to talk to this immobile furniture. 
Oh, I can't carry the steel sword. It's time for Inventory Manager. Da, 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 da. I bet you your daughter has a preferred version of that song. I didn't even know what song we're doing. Uh, it's make... the music before the films. Is it Pearl and Dean, the company? Yeah. That's a very British thing, by the way. Yeah. Nobody outside of like England is going to know what you're talking about. Um, I think they send films around the world. <laughs> but, uh, they don't yeah. anymore. Like, but uh, but I don't yeah. even think during the day that they were in, in fashion, like they were they were using them in the USA. Well, I'm just going to say that they had SpongeBob SquarePants do an altered version of that song. He was doing it for the British audience only. Was it? Yeah. Is it like um, um, Wreck It Ralph, where Dan TDM exclusively does the uh, UK uh, voice of? Is it E Boy or whatever it is? The eBay reminder service in Wreck It Ralph Two. Possibly that film is a travesty. By the way, I've not seen that it. Fil that film is a giant advert. I mean, wow. Wreck It Ralph Two. Into the internet. Well, you see on the internet. Stays on the internet. In adverts galore. That's right. And then the second act takes place where they meet all the Disney princesses, which is cool, but they're all wearing exclusive Disney store outfits. Imagine my buy. surprise. Yeah. This How... whole thing is just a big advert. Pretty much. And the movie's not that great either. Yeah. I thought uh, it was pretty good. Yeah? Well, you're a kid. You don't know anything. Why can't go equip anything? Ow! Ow! See top. <laughs> Why is Go not equipping anything? He's too strong for weapons. He doesn't need them. Is he going to be the author of this? You can touch it now. The engine stopped. Crazy. I'm going to talk to the machine. Very odd equipment. Right. Don't go touch it. You'll smudge the the lens. You're gonna put your dirty fingerprints over it. Oh yeah, we get mm. we get more characters. Aha! It's me, Guns from Rindo. Look at this steam suit. This time I've not folded in half like a cheap paper cup. <laughs> Look at these moves. The old dog finally got it working. It makes I'll... you wonder about Guns. Like, is he actually capable of movement without the suit on? How big is Guns without the suit? Because I think his race is actually listed as, and I quote. Armadillo. <laughs> yeah, he looks like an armadillo. So you know what you're saying is that is literally like a men in black uh, alien suit. Pretty much. He's just like living inside, you know, the head of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking more just like the fact it, it, it's just like he gets on a series of little steps. Yeah. Uh, Papal says uh, I always used to think Gunts would be boiling in that steam suit, lol. Yeah. Mm, I've also armadillo. It's, that sounds that sounds appetizing, actually. Yeah. Well, you know what they say. I like armadillos. Crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Armadillos. That's right. Uh, Another British advert there. Good job. You're welcome. It's like I'm British. It, almost, yeah. <laughs> almost. I've been getting away with it for so long, no one's noticed. So, let's give Gunt, say, uh, a little... It's a lance. It's an, inter it's an interesting choice of weapon for, a, like, an right. immobile unit. So, Gort, seeing as you're not being very helpful, uh, I'm going to replace you. Get in the bin. Yeah, get, <laughs> get, get in the trash, fool. Um, I threw it on the ground. If, the, the bit that's so frustrating with this is just like the amount of uh, inventory management. Who has a power spear that we stuck in here? Right, May, hand that over. Yummy. Give. Guns, you best be able to equip this. Uh, equip. I, I'm sure that yeah, this. Th it shouldn't be this difficult to do all this, should yeah. it? Yeah. And then, May, I would like you to give him, give him the fruity goodness. What is the fruit? Uh, Vanker is um, when Pal first leaves. If you walk around the site, he's amongst the tracks. He's the security guard that's gone missing. I thought you were gonna say trash then. He's amongst the trash where he belongs. I mean, when we looked at his stats, that's what it would suggest. Right, yeah, pretty much. Right. Poop. 
I'm just going to. I don't. I don't remember. Saves. Just going to quickly save yeah, this. Very good. And I'm going to save over that one. Right, let's go rescue a crazy horse. Right, so where is Unbatal? Is it to the north? Okay. Hi, y'all. Oh, maybe it's this giant castle. Hi, Emily. I, she, she, she's otherwise indisposed. Oh, she's coming back, is she? Apparently, yeah. Right. Grumps! You must break through to reach the harbour, but be careful, but be quick. Which pick one, old Which man? Which one do you want? <laughs> those, are, those are opposed to each other. What do you want from me, old man? I mean, Domingo's there, so I mean, it's... Oh, he's a caster. Okay. He is a caster. Uh, I've never used Domingo, so I have no idea how it goes. Um... What you need is more eggs for breakfast. So Silver Knight, who's also the name of one of our uh, subs on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Our floating amoeba friend just nearly wiped that horsey boy out straight out. So. Close the door. Attack. Please. So I think there's a hidden item on this map somewhere. Um, Xylo yeah, attacks. Do you, to, do you want me to have a look at the guide for it? Uh, you can do. There's loads of random... Uh, items i want to say let me look at the map i want to say it's here yeah i mean that looks like a place where a hidden item would be if i was to hide an item it would be right there i forgot to give him the power spear it's fine it's fine he's fine he's fine, he's fine. everything's fine pele is gonna the fortress of balbazak right yeah Hey yo, Pele's just kebabbed that guy to death. Goes well with the bread. Yeah. Oh, it's like we've got a balanced team of people who can attack at varying ranges. Mm, well, this that. it is fine because Tao's going to set this guy on fire, so he's going to be the dog in the dog meme. Everything's fine. Oh, is this Unbatol Fortress? Yeah. Actually. Okay. I always feel like when I say Umbatal, I feel like I'm saying the band Umbop in a specifically weird voice. I always think it's like the um, Umbatal. Yeah, Udenan. Uh, yeah, Udenan. Which is actually... Um, Udenon, it, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Udenon. Like Almost done. Uh, which one of our old school friends was... We yeah, look that was like his catchphrase. That was... Yeah, we we yes we we went to school with somebody who had a catchphrase, which was also the advert. <laughs> yeah, uh, Papple's using my words against me in chat, and I don't like it because we're never <laughs> punished. Yes, excellent. No, punished once. Punished. There you go. Zylo was never punished. There, he just casually sidestepped that chump. But he's just. There's one thing about this map, I always felt like the uh, stone texture that they used just didn't look right. Yeah. I, I mean, it might look better in on a CRT. Because the it just kind of looks like a, a grey digestive biscuit. It, yeah. it looks like granite. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah, let's, uh, listen to the, uh, the Minecraft expert over here. Yeah. I mean, uh, gravel. It looks like gravel to me. Yeah? Okay. I'm trying to remember how powerful uh, Domingo is with just attacks. But uh, I... I'm not reading anything about a hidden item, actually. Yeah. But I might just be looking at yeah. a poopy uh, guide. There you are. Deadly attack. 13. A deadly attack. Both of his attacks, Ayo. He's not just an attack, it's a deadly attack. Yeah. He froze his uh, tears and threw them at the enemy. Yeah. I'm kind of curious as to it. Uh, yeah. Are you going to do battle on a, on a ladder there, Gareth? Yeah. I, 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 this is the this is a thing that I always think looks stupid. Yes, I agree. <laughs> How can you do battle on a ladder? Battle on a ladder. I, I always liked the 
when I think of the saying about doing battle on a ladder, I like the episode of The Simpsons and Homer sees that traumatic thing. And he is on the ladder looking through someone's window and he's traumatized by it. And he just leans back on the ladder and hops all the way home backwards on the ladder. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's good. Strange. Very strange. Right. Let's see if we can start okay, getting... Right. Day. I'm sure there's a box down here. Yeah, I, I'll take your word for it. I, I couldn't see anything on the guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Grump's up there. I want to try start, like, positioning and seeing if we can feed some kills. Oh, look, there's some Cerberus. Hmm. Some Cerberus. Yeah. Uh, Three-headed dogs. I think in the, the two-headed puppers. Where? Uh, yeah. there you go. Hellhound. Hellhound. He's not quite a Cerberus. He can't, he can't afford the, the third head it yet. It doesn't look... Right. Look at what? this. So you got to remember, this is back in 1991. So you got to use your imagination a little bit. <laughs> okay. Imagination hurts, Dad. A squid with a hat. It's a squid with a hat. Yeah, pretty much. Squidworth. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Squidward. Yeah. Squidward. Okay. Yeah. Pele, imagine how much damage he'd be doing with the power spear, Pele. Yeah, he would be doing pretty good at it. It'd, it'd pr probably just be like one-shotting everything. Imagine how much damage he'd be doing with his chin. <laughs> I mean, you could just s serve it up, like, you no. Know, change. I mean, if, you, if you overcook those French batons, they can deal some serious damage. Actually, what you want to do is you want to leave them a day where they go rock hard. Because we, right. we sell baguettes in the shop, and uh, the day after... They uh, they are you an impressive just, weapon. <laughs> around the back. <laughs> uh, oh, Shifty Sauce has joined the party. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you are in fact Shifty Sauce. When we uh, change this onto uh, YouTube, you will be the first person to follow live on uh, a video. <gasps> and uh, John, that takes us up to thirty-four human beings that are following us. Ever close? No, 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 no. Suspected human beings. They're, they're <laughs> <not> confirmed. <laughs> No, they're not. Some of them could be robots or aliens or like subatomic like life forms. What? They could be, you never know. Right. I, I don't think there's anything there, Gareth. I think the guy probably Uh What's it say on the screen, John? <laughs> what it's a stay. It's a search. I discovered it's Kenji. Oh hi Kenji. Hi Kenji. <laughs> Who's Kenji? I think it's... Is it an item? It is an item. Kenji! That's right, Papo. And I will live in the hollowed halls of G Never Sleeps history. Actually, it'll be Woodhouse 204 history over on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, so we use my my channel to, to host this stuff. Um, Gareth has, has very kindly decided to take the wheel on this one. Yeah. We, we do like a bunch of Shiny Force stuff on the channel. Uh, and I asked Gareth to take the wheel on this one. Two whole points of damage there, John. It was that a physical attack that she from Anri? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, that's kind of what you expect, isn't it? Yeah. Don't eat my wizard. I'm using it. There you go. See? Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it. It's it's a bad puppy. Okay. That, Hit that. him with a slipper. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just gonna throw the. I'm gonna be in the sport of the the spirit of the Olympics. I'm gonna just hurl a javelin in its face. Yep. Yeah. That, that's what they do at the Olympics. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Karma. Uh, Shifty Sauce <laughs> asks if we uh, grew up with the game like he did, or, uh, or they did. Sorry. I certainly uh, did. Uh, I didn't. So the first time I played uh, Shining Force One was the Game Boy Advanced uh, remake. Uh, some 12, 15 years ago. Uh, Grumps doesn't have a weapon. It's fine. I use this bare hand. It's, it's not fine. It's fine. I'll fix it in post. It'll be fine. I'll edit it okay. in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. He yeah. used his bare hands. He did. That's right. The hands of a bear. One whole bear. Look, it won't be a stream. Oh. That's it. You fight Pele. 
Look at Pele just could stand there all day. I could do How this all day. like that when he's under level? Who's Pele? Pele is the, the giant bread chin. Yeah. He's he's just fighting him off with his amazing uh yeah. yeah. And just kill this hellhound with this small paper ba uh, plastic bag floating in the wind. <laughs> but yeah, is back it to your question Shifty Sauce? Um Gareth and I so Gareth bought Shining Force 2 on the Mega Drive when it came out. Um and uh, I loaned it from him. I fell in love with it and that's my first strategy rpg experience and ever since then i've been playing more of them yeah. uh and recently i um well, i say recently about eight years ago i found a mod for shine force 2 and put that on the internet and got gareth to help me out and then we uh, the guy who made that became friends with us on the interwebs and then he put another uh mod out uh, mod out we did that on the interwebs and it was it was quite well received, I, I, I will admit. Um, and now we're here playing Shining Force 1 on the interwebs, and I think it's all right. John hates I, this because he, he, wants me, he wants me to die every time, and the AI so far has done some really screwy things. Yeah, the AI has been very lenient, shall we say. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put... Diane here and start getting everyone up. Thank you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the audience didn't really need to know that right now, but sure. Oh my god, Henry. Henry got that oh, sweet Diane. level Henry got that sweet level up and that Pegasus Knight's like, I've been saving this crit with advantage all day. <laughs> I hate that dress, that colour is bad on you. Swack. <laughs> Nobody likes green. <laughs> Nobody likes green. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Pele's made of stone, don't worry about it. <laughs> He's made of is made of stale bread. Yeah, I was going to say stale <laughs> bread, yeah. Uh, so Papa Wanya uh, says, uh, the same thing happened to me once when I was playing Shining Force 2 and was up against Odd Eye and laughed so hard, imagining if Shining Force 2 were a movie cartoon series and something like that happened here, uh, there, what a sarcastic comment Odd, Odd Eye would have made. Yeah. Oh, so you're imagining like, if there was a cartoon or something of it. I mean, yeah. that, that's the right sort of like error for that sort of thing to happen. That'd be cool. That would be cool, yeah. People so. would watch it. I uh, would. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I'm, there we uh, go. Middle spoon. Because for some reason, he can't use the, um, the steel sword. <laughs> he did better when he didn't have the weapon. He was more useful then. Right, I need to... His Kikichi is apparently like squished. He's flying. Yeah, he that is. Exactly, he, that that's exactly what he is. Yeah. He's really yeah. a guy flying. Yeah, he's an old man. He's kind of, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure about his weight, but yeah, I mean... He looks a bit big. A bit chubby. Yeah, a bit chubby. Okay. Chubby. Hey, yo. Chubby. Chubby, chubby, chubby. Uh, Shifty Sauce <laughs> saying that uh, he named his first son Luke, partly because of this game. Not according to your wife. Uh, my brother got him a custom-made search with Luke's character portrait. That's really cool. That sounds um, awesome. Yeah. Uh, one uh, of the... He also says that the AI in this game is pretty lacking. I would yeah. very much agree. Uh, there's some of the quality of life improvements in 2 are hard to lose going back to 1. Yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty much my stance on it. I, I feel like that um, watching Gareth struggle, especially with some of the, the talking and searching stuff yeah. and not being able to look at character stats without having to go into the, the Nova room. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh. um, it's it's kind of difficult to, to do with... Yeah. All right, so who's the next Chair wave? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my son is in fact... My wife doesn't know part of the reason I chose. She agreed with the name and she thought it was awesome, but he's also in part named after a Fire Emblem character. Because I thought that Fire Emblem character was cool. Awesome. Yeah. He's one of the Fire knights. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's named after one of the knights from uh, Path of Radiance. The um, javelin he uses, that can be his chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. He's just... <laughs> That's how pointy his chin is. Yeah. It's also detachable, so he can stick it under his arm and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go at yeah. him. Cool. Multi-purpose, yeah. I think, is the uh, the term we're looking yeah, yeah. for here. 
Multi-purpose. Yeah. That isn't a word. Uh, my son's called Oscar. Uh, first shifty source in chat. So he's one of the three brothers in uh, Path of Radiance. Oh, is he one of the knights? Yeah, he's the knight whose brother's the barbarian. Oh, god damn it, Dan! And his other, his the youngest brother is the archer. Yeah. Right. Who does anyone actually need healing? Why are you no. saying broadsword? Broadsword. That's just what a barbarian would carry around with them. That's true. Yeah. Broadsword. A broadsword. <laughs> yeah. So anyone uh, that's not really sure what my. I'm sorry, I'm just about. laughing at the way they've put the spear on Kakichi because yeah. it literally doesn't move. <laughs> no, it's kind of funky, isn't it? Strange. I've got this sick idea. What is it? Now hear me out. We don't move the spear. <laughs> don't move the spear. We just move it him. Doesn't, up. It doesn't need to move. You use your imagination to move yeah. it. That's the power of imagination. You'll learn when you're older. Broso. Yeah. So you're doing the the hero quest advert, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. I mean, if Oscar, if Oscar, if Oscar, if if Oscar was here, he would also just spend the next ten minutes yelling broadsword as well. Yeah. I mean, look. Here, we're not playing Hero Quest. Oh. You want to play Hero Quest? Just get, get, get out of the pocket. But yeah, uh, going back to Shifty Source's question, uh, I grew up with Shining Force 1, but by growing up with it, I borrowed it off a friend uh, from primary school. Pardon me. And he loaned me the game, and then there was like three weeks of the school year left, and he was in the year where... He was going to move, he was going to change schools. So I got to play it for six weeks and my tiny like nine to ten year old brain just screwed this up so badly. I mean, I'm not doing much better these days, but you know. This game is so easy though. Yeah. That, like, even, a, even a ten year old would be able to play it effectively. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are. Uh, Alex who made the mod learned how to read with Shining Force 2, I believe. What? Yeah. He played it when he was five. Yeah. Five. Yeah, that, that just shows the age difference between us. He was Gareth just... A... And I were, like, attempting to grow facial hair when we played Shining Force 2. Yeah. He was five. <laughs> so how old is he? I think he's in his... Like, 12. Days. Wow. Mental age, <laughs> definitely 12. Uh, well, no, the, the running joke on the internet is, like, if you don't can't name someone's age straight off the bat and they're younger than you, they're always 12. Oh, I mean, that makes sense for the Call of Duty players online. Yeah. Right, so we healed Grumps up. It feels weird not doing, like, um, a wheel and stuff on this run, but I feel the way that we've sort of, like, messed around with some of the characters, uh, we might actually have to use kind of, like, an effective team. But I, I do also wonder sometimes with this game if it's just, like, you've got to use the new shiny sometimes. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want, Gareth, uh, so th the reason why we're not using uh, a randomizer wheel for selecting our characters is kind of the one time we actually tried to do that, it kind of melted Gareth's uh, laptop. laptop. So I'm wondering if maybe I do the, the wheel on my end. Because, uh, I mean, uh, it doesn't have to be you that does that, does it? That is true. Right. Can Kikichi... Let's, let's just watch this weird animation. Just slide him up the lance. <laughs> it moved that time. It moved a, yeah, little, a little bit. bit. It just it doesn't move like vertically, just horizontally. Yeah. I mean it's better what's the game I'm thinking of and you see a character with a lance and he doesn't like attack people with the lance normally. He like just slaps them with it. And it's like such a weird oh. attack. I you just said two two opposing things though. You said like he has this lance here, but he doesn't attack with it. He slaps them with it. That's well, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. You know, he doesn't like skewer them like he would with a lance. He, he does oh, like. Okay. He does like. He the, uses it like a baseball bat. Yeah, it's like the lance slap. Okay. And it just every time I see it, it weirds me out. Yeah, I get that. Okay. It's. Have you ever had, like, an experience where you see someone doing something and you're like, it's so wrong, and you're trying to wonder how they ever came to that kind of 
Conclusion. So I, the one thing I have in my memory is when uh, playing cricket at high school. So we would play high, uh, high school cricket like for maybe a month or six I, weeks or something every year. Just on a side note, guns attached from two spaces away and it was still like a close combat attack. Oh, yeah. They, didn't even, they used their fists, not, not the lance or javelin. They didn't even use that. He gave them the rocket punch. Um, anyway, you were quickly saying cricket. Is this when okay. and is this when bears use the bat upside down to be funny? No. And he actually like smashed it for six. No. So we we only played like once a year, and I hated cricket. I still do. I think it's boring as hell. But uh, the first week we were playing cricket after the entire year of not having to do it. I had actually forgotten how to bowl. <laughs> so what I did was, I ran, I, I basically was uh, doing my run up, didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was just like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I got to the crease where you're supposed to let go. And I just hurled the thing. Like <laughs> and the, the teacher who, um, uh, Mr. Kelly, I think it was. Mr. Mr. That, man, Mr. that man's a legend. He is. Uh, Said, uh, oh, that's, uh, that's an interesting style you got there, Woody. Uh, and I went, uh, sorry, sir, I'd forgotten what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was always called the, nog the nodding dog. Because whenever I used to fetch my arm over, I'd fetch my head down with it. And he once commented, it's like, how you've just bowled four people out is beyond me. <laughs> I'm sure that that number increases on every time you tell that tale. No, it's, sure it's, it's always four. It, no, it's, it, it's gone up over the years. Just like my skills. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Who wanted healing? It was Diane. But I sent Diane to kill the mage. Oh, sweet gentle Arthur. Can you kill this tank? Can you, can you kill a tank? I mean, there's... How does it evade? <laughs> it's an inanimate object. I just like it to be like... Um, like Fire Emblem or Dark Deity. And the item just like tinks off them with no effect. It's not an evade. I'm fine with that, yeah. Um, yeah, that's how I like to mentally picture that scenario uh, unfolding. Uh, just actually talking about random stuff unfolding. Mm. That, that was uncomfortable. Um, and also talking about discomfort. So, recently, because I've gone into a slightly antisocial mode on social media, I've been receiving lots of adverts. And one of the yeah, adverts... Yeah, one of the adverts I've been getting is for... Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But he's leveled up. It's, I've been getting the lots of adverts for bad anime series. Oh, yeah. Like, uh... And a lot of them end up on things like Netflix. They're always It's like nearly always like a Netflix original, which isn't a Netflix original. It just means that nobody else wanted to buy it. In Wait, is this going to coincide with... Wow, Grumps. Okay, he, actually doing some damage. He stuff. missed and then punched him. Yeah. Is this going to coincide with the thing I actually want to talk about? I don't know. Um, well, I wanted to talk about bad animes. And I've, like, I've had three suggest. One of them I bought years ago from when a shop was shutting down. I was like, I'll take a punt on it because it was £1.50 a disc. And okay. I, I desperately need my money back. Um, <laughs> even though that shop doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And that was called Ma. Which is kind of like a sort of Izuki naruto -y kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like it's a battle anime, uh, but the there's a uh, word for that, and I forget what it yeah. is. It uh, basically a shonen, yeah, shonen uh, show. And oh, double attack from Guns. Nice, nice. Uh, basically, his father disappeared, and his it's like he falls into the world of pseudo fairy tales. Is as you do. As that whole thing transpires, you know what, Chris? I'm going to stand you here because apparently we have to start murdering the people up there. Um, and it's re conceptually, I liked a lot of it, but it's just a cheap show. I got a thing called High Rise Invasion suggested to me, which is. Okay. I've uh, never heard of that. Uh, it's 
some basically people get infected with this virus and it's just like uh, a slasher film inside of a tower block like imagine resident evil on a super budget yeah and then another thing that was suggested to me was something called king's game which was basically like and it's basically like danganronpa and yeah. i was watching some of the clips and some of the stuff that happens in that show, we might come back to this when Emily disappears. Yeah, Emily, can can you um, go and see what the zombies up there? Okay. Yeah. Just for a minute, because we're going to talk about some stuff that aren't too for you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to have to finish my water because Good girl. Yeah. Thank you. Good for you. Um, there's some ridiculous Hi. scenes. Hi, Emily. Hello. There is some ridiculous scenes in that where... King, I've she not eased to go. <laughs> Sorry. There's always a way to stay a little bit longer. Um, yeah, there's like ridiculous scenes like uh, someone works out that the killer of the game is actually a computer virus. And the, the virus of course it, it is. And then so somehow while stood at a laptop, she's set on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just douse herself in like oil? Before no, no. Out? Like it's like the, it's like the game's like, oh, uh, I must punish you for this, and it, she's next time you see her, she's just on fire. Okay. <laughs> so uh, the thing I wanted to talk about uh, is actually something quite recent, uh, and that is B stars. Okay, so I've watched so, the first series of that, and that was okay. How's yes. the second series panned out? It, it's. Bad. Now, <laughs> I I'm gonna get some heat for this if anyone in the chat has like you invested know, anime because it, it's it's become very quickly like a beloved uh, series. Yeah. Um, I have several problems with the second series though. So the to to give you an idea what Beastars is, if you're not sure what it is, it's um it's a high school drama, but all the characters are um, animals. Anthropomorphic and, animals. Yeah, and they have like... Um, the thing that made it good was that the characters were sort of like realistic. Like they had sort of um, introverted thoughts uh, and you got to hear yeah. what the characters were, were, were thinking, what they were, you know, what they were feeling and stuff like that. But most of the show um, sort of like centered around like because the, some of the animals are herbivores and some of them are predators, you had like the, the stuff that went on between what would One second, if, John. Like... We have to do the tradition. High five, high five. Yeah. Uh, high five everyone on the ladder. If you didn't get high five then, then shut up. Anyway. Yeah, so... If, Beastars. Um, what, what happens between, like, you know, um, herbivores and uh, predators? Yeah. Uh, and for the first series, it went on pretty well. Um, the second series, uh, so there was a couple of scenes in the first series where there was some homoerotic uh, tension, uh, and that was that became very popular online. And yeah. I think what happened was yeah. they went, "Oh, that was popular. People seem to like this homoerotic." Let, let's film. lean into let's it. Fill that all in, like so. You get the 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 tension of the the two male characters. One of them leaves. Yeah. Um. Oh no! You've killed all those lovely monsters. You brute. Uh, one of them leaves, and the other character like has mixed, confused feelings about how he how he feels about this character. Yeah. Uh, and then another uh, pretty boy uh, appears and has like lots of other homoerotic feelings for him. Yeah. Uh, and the female characters that were actually like pretty well written in the first series, they're barely in it. Uh, the, so... ca the the episode I remember the best from the first season is the chicken episode, where she oh, yeah. with the eggs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hang on, I did Ernest last time, didn't I? And I proper leaned into the nineties. Get away, you overgrown mutt! I'm not stopping until I finish Barbazak. You can be the dog, John. You're welcome. Well, Seeing as you just talked about B stars, it seemed appropriate. <laughs> Ah, uh, I've got to, got to get through. Eat steel, you mutt. Now, if I can, just find Barbazak before I die. Was that dramatic enough? Did I? Very edgy. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. 
But yeah, the um Back off for it! It's you! Let's join forces. We can help each other out. Why has he got sad music? I <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. I always hate the sad music because that there's a long pause on a high note for far too long and it makes me uncomfortable. Oh go I ahead. Wait. To give him a senzu bean. Yeah. <laughs> the secret door vanished. But that won't stop me. Charge! Huh. Okay. Charge! I really could use some rest. I'm going back to your headquarters. See you soon. Wait, that, that that's the wrong way, mate. There you go. Okay, whatever. You alright, Palm? Yo, Grumps, huh? Ernie said you'd be coming through. Be careful, I sense trouble.